The CEO of movie theater company AMC Entertainment sent explicit text messages in a catfishing extortion scheme. Adam Aaron said he reported the scam to authorities even though he knew he risked public embarrassment, News.com has learned. A Bronx woman was convicted of trying to blackmail Aaron for hundreds of thousands of dollars using fake identities, according to a federal indictment. The CEO posted a statement Thursday, October 12, to his ex-account after Semaphore reported he was one of the victims of the 2022 extortion case. Throughout my long career, I have successfully led many prominent companies and am proud of my impeccable reputation. In recent years, AMC's millions of retail shareholders have played a central role in my life. Your passion for our company is one of my key motivators in doing. Unfortunately, last year I became the victim of an elaborate criminal extortion by a third party who was unknown to me, Aaron said in a statement. In March of 2022, Sequoia Blackwood, 34, contacted Aaron using a fake name, according to the indictment. She sent him photos he believed were of a person named Mia, but were actually of a young Russian model. Aaron, who has been married since 1987, eventually sent sexually explicit images and messages to Blackwood, Semaphore reported. Blackwood then posed as a news reporter, telling Aaron had seen the inappropriate texts. She threatened to leak the photos and messages to the press and the AMC board unless the CEO paid hundreds of thousands of dollars in hush money. Aaron refused to pay the blackmail and reported the situation to the FBI, according to prosecutors. Rather than give in to blackmail, I personally engaged counsel and other professional advisors and reported the matter to law enforcement, he said. I did so knowing I risked personal embarrassment. But with my access to resources, if I did not stand up against blackmail, who could? Aaron said he informed the AMC board of directors of the situation, and that the matter is closed. Blackwood was sentenced in July to time already served and put on supervised release for three years, according to the Kansas City Star. Aaron rose to internet prominence as a leader of the meme stock phenomenon in 2020 and 2021.